the mall right there behind Costco. Um, and before, but before we go further, we need to, number one on the agenda is to approve the minutes. So from last time, do we have anybody here to make a motion to approve minutes from last week? Wasn't here. Who wants to make that Let me see. Who was here? I'll make a motion to approve the minutes from last week, which would have been September, or excuse me, August 1st. I will second okay. that. Chris? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, thanks. If you don't do it the first, then I forget. Okay, so back to McDonald's. So this shows where the location is. This is their site plan. You can see how their drive through splits into two lanes on the north end. This is their existing plat. And that's important because of parking. So this is the existing Costco site plan from 1999. In exec staff, they thought it would be helpful if we showed this, showing that Costco, even though there's no division, there's no line in the parking lot showing where Costco's property ends. The red lines show that anything north or west of the red lines is Costco, and anything on the other side is you place general parking for everybody. So it's Costco lease line, because right? they don't own the property. Right, right. So even though it looks like they have that whole area between the islands, they really don't. Um, this is a more up-to-date version, and as far as clarity, not changing anything as up-to-date, but just you can see the lines better on this one. So they're off-street parking. They're showing here that where the five Mc McDonald's has to have 17 parking sp spots. They provide 12 on-site, and then the south of McDonald's, you can see there's five additional parking spaces. That, that's where they'll have their employees park in those five sp spaces. Although they don't have to be designated, they could be anywhere in in that in those um, parking spaces that are for the whole mall, not just for Costco. Um, these are the elevations. They will have mostly hardy board. All the gray is hardy board with um, metal trim. And the floor plan. And if you need me to stop on any of these, you, you can stop me. Um, this is what it looks like now next to Big O Tire. And do you have any questions on this? I'll go back to the original site, or the site plan on the first. That one? Sorry, the site plan, yeah. So we're, so they're going to paint all that and then we can get that done. As far as how that works, and it's all right. We're going to bond them to do the no parking and all that intersection. Striking, yeah. Sure. They're extending the median as well. They're moving it. Moving it. Anybody else have any comments, questions? I have a motion for this. Go to planning commission next week, correct? Yes. I move that we approve the site plan of McDonald's located at 615 State Hunter South in the PD. 3-4 zone. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Wish Jason seconded that. Okay. Thanks. Okay. And Sam, would you be able to clear that in dev track now? With yeah, we got the updated. The, I think they're just they, they had submitted one Friday the drainage. So. Yeah, they got that Friday in two new sheets. Yeah, so let's talk to Sean. Okay. Thank you. All right, next one, Matthews rezone. They want to rezone the area. Well, let's go to the a little bit bigger on the um, west side that fronts 800 east. The larger part in the back, they will leave R8. In the front, they're going to change it from R8 to R65. Is there a lot to show in the front? Um, like that? Oh. No, like that. So the issue has been the um, 
this is their concept plan and their proposed plat. The issue has been that 850 East was always supposed to go through and connect to 260 on the north, 280 on the north, sorry. They don't want to do that. They want to do it this way and put a lot there. I'm not comfortable having this concept plan shown with two lots. So, I mean, if we approve this, I think we should approve it with just showing the two lot the rezone portion and not the concept. So that's has nothing to do with the rezone. So just those two lots on the west side would go then. Those two big lots on the east would not. Right. So any reference to a concept plan for this rezone should eliminate those two homes to the west, east. Any questions on that? That's that's basically it. Um, the um, fire code or the city code says that it has to meet the uniform building code and the uniform fire code, which this concept plan does not. Hi, Brady. Oops, Kathy. So this is what the um, fire code says their options are for. Um, oh, sorry. I mean, it says if they were when it comes to streets, it could be the first to our national fire code. So, okay. so we probably should update that in the city so that we're there. So this is what it says the options are for if they don't put the road through for cul-de-sacs or hammerheads. Those are the options for 260 or for 850. 850. They'll put a cul-de-sac on 280 and complete that cul-de-sac and then below it have a hammerhead. But the only option was a cul-de-sac. Yeah. It is. It is. Mm -hmm. So do we really want to show all this? You can, but in our ordinance it specifically says for, for, for public roads it's got to be a nice six foot by a cul-de-sac. Okay. I think our presentation is going. We'll just go past that slide really fast. Looks like. Okay. Neighborhood meeting. They help. They did hold it. They have to have that as part of their rezone. And um, that's what it looks like now. The bottom one is from the half cul-de-sac, and the one on the left is from 850 East, the dead end. So I put negative. You don't. You can put positive if you want to. But when it goes through for the preliminary plat. It, when it comes through for the plenary plat, it most likely will never get even to this group because it doesn't meet the, the code. So I think there's a distinction we need to make between the, what we're proposing as far as a rezone. We're only requesting, the, they're only requesting the two front lots. Correct. Which we're not opposing, right? Okay. It's the preliminary plat that we're at a negative recommendation. So as far as the rezone portion of the two lots up front, it's going to be just these two portions here, not including just this we would be in favor of that what we're not in favor of is them um, trying to subdivide it without finishing the street okay so change that negative to a positive if, if you want to held to that concept right well what i'm no so i want to make a motion that we simply have them report a positive recommendation just for the two front lots not including this concept that the concept plan only includes the two lots that front on 800 East and not the other. So they need to give us a new concept plan that just shows those two. If they want to come back and do a four lot subdivision in the future, they'll have to meet the current standards. Is there a second? I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? I guess the question too, Jason, is as it's shown there in that concept, on the southerly home, where is the front of the house going to be? Are you talking about this one? On the west side, where it's going to be reasonable. Because they're looking to share an access, which is great, on the east. Setback would be the street, regardless of how they face the house. So the way that house is drawn there on lot four, that may not necessarily work as to how their lot line is and the setbacks. Correct. 
Yeah, because the front and rear would be that direction. Yeah. <coughs> so we'll make good time to give us any concept. I'm not showing anything on that back row. I've asked him for when I might have it when I get back. And that's the last one. That's it. I'll just Did people approve that on the condition that they provide us a new concept plan or? Yeah, that was part of it, so, right? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. And just regarding the front two, I mean the west two. All right, anything else to run up to this committee? Not, I'll look for a motion to adjourn. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> we'll go with that. <laughs> Bye. Bye. All right. Thanks, everyone.